Hello everyone, welcome to Beth's Kitchen. We're gonna make some ham and Swiss rolls. There's a lot of different recipes for this out there. This is an old one that I remember from probably the 80s. This is about two cups of Swiss cheese, cha or uh, grated, and two cups of ham, deli ham that's chopped. And you'll need uh, some minced onion, a tablespoon tablespoon and a half of poppy seeds, teaspoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce, some regular mustard, about two teaspoons, and some softened butter. And I'm using these rolls that I can split, these little hot ham sandwiches, used to be called ham delights. And the rolls that they used to be made on, I couldn't find those, so we'll be using these King's Hawaiian Savory Buttery Rolls today. I'm going to take the rolls. I just took them out of the package in this long serrated knife. I'm just going to slice all the way across. Separate that out so you've got your bottom and your top. Next we'll mix up our butter to spread in there. So for our butter mustard spread, we're going to put our softened stick of butter in there. We'll put our mustard, our Worcestershire sauce, our poppy seeds, and the onions. And just take a fork Mash all of that up until it's good and mixed up. Our butter mixture is all mixed. I'm just going to divide this in half and you're going to take your rolls and put half on the bottom and half on the top. And you're going to spread that out as thinly as you can on there with a spreader on both sides. These are spread evenly, both the top and the bottom of the rolls. And we're going to use, you can use any kind of pan to bake these. I'm just going to use this little baking dish and we're going to top it with the ham and Swiss and then top it with the top of the rolls and bake. This is the bottom, and I start with the Swiss cheese, so it'll melt and, and end with the Swiss cheese, so both will have that melted cheese to hold everything together. I'm going to top the ham on top of this first layer of cheese, and we'll end with the Swiss. Okay, got the ham on. I'm going to finish the top with the rest of the Swiss cheese. So, all of that on there, and then you're going to top it with your roll topper. And normally, this bakes for about about 400 degrees for 20 minutes or so. And there's a dozen recipes, or way more than that, of this recipe if you. Um, if you search ham and Swiss hot sandwiches, this will come up. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's really good to serve guests or just to have for a snack. I am only going to cook half of this today. We don't need it all. And you can put the other half in the freezer and get it out. It's a good Sunday night meal. We'll be back. Okay, our oven is preheated to 400. I put this half. We only need half and this goes in the freezer and you can just let it sit out and thaw for about 30 minutes and bake it. You might have to bake it a little bit more to get it melted and hot through and through. And I'm just going to cover this with aluminum foil and bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes. And these make wonderful hot sandwiches for any kind of party or just to have anytime. They're so easy to fix and they're just so good. 